The girl didn't come home. Her parents knew something was wrong and immediately called the police. Parents always worry for their children and want them to be safe and sound under any circumstances. So, when Laura Lynn Stacy didn't phone home, her parents immediately called the police and urged authorities to help them find her. Parents' gut feelings are always right. They nurture us, they take care of us, and think of us every single day, even if we are thousands of miles away. Their undying love is beyond compare. And even if their parenting styles differ, there is one thing they are all afraid of the most. When we get older, our parents can't keep an eye on us 24-7. Thus, they always wait for us to call them and assure them everything is okay. And when the father waits for a call, but his beloved daughter doesn't do so when she is supposed to, it's the most terrifying thing every parent is afraid of. That's exactly what happened to a father from Colorado when his 28-year-old daughter never came home. In despair and fear, he immediately checked her social media to find any clues as to where she could be. But what he found made him call 911 with no doubt. When Laura Lynn Stacy was younger, she dreamt of becoming the best real estate agent ever. So when she graduated from Colorado State University, she took control of her life and started fighting for her dream. Little did she know, life was about to throw a major curveball at her. Despite her young age, Stacy worked hard and managed to achieve great results in her career. Her future was looking very bright, and her parents, Steve and Marcy, couldn't have been any prouder. In a while, the girl decided to move to Los Angeles. The real estate market was booming there. Her parents supported her all the way, and the girl took this important step. However, it was a decision they would later come to regret. Stacy had been living with her parents for her entire life, so it was tough for her parents to realize their daughter would be living far away in a different city at first. To put their minds at ease and calm their worrying, she promised to call her parents every night after coming back from work. And the girl did so on a daily basis before hitting the hay. She told her folks about her working day, her accomplishments, and the people she met. Stacy was also keeping in touch with her friends by sending messages back and forth until one day when everything changed. Out of the blue, the girl stopped calling and writing. Her parents instantly knew something was wrong when their daughter broke their amazing ritual. They tried to call her, but to no avail. The girl didn't answer. Neither her siblings nor friends were able to get in touch with her. Everyone who knew her tried to stay calm and positive at first. Maybe somebody stole her phone, or she could simply lose it. Presumably, she was so busy and left her phone on vibrate so she wouldn't be disrupted while she was working. And then, her father got a message from his daughter's number. Was it really her? Unfortunately, it was a stranger who found Stacy's phone at Golden Valley Park in Santa Clarita, California. That was 30 miles from her LA home. But how did it end up so far away from her apartment? Her parents couldn't stay at home and headed to Los Angeles and filed a police report. They also asked the girl's co-workers about their daughter's disappearance, but nobody had any idea what had happened to her. The Los Angeles Police Department sent a chopper out to search for her, and that's when everyone started to panic. In a while, police found Stacy's abandoned vehicle. They supposed that Stacy's car engine had stalled, and since she was miles away from a nearby auto repair shop, she called for a lift to help her get back to the city but her parents immediately disproved this theory. Unluckily, things were looking hopeless. Where could she possibly be? Stacy's roommate said she saw the girl at their apartment in Hollywood Hills on January 22, 2017, but then she simply vanished. Her parents didn't know what to do. It's been a nightmare, and I just want to be woken up from a bad dream, Stacy's mother told the media. A lot of people love her and are praying for her and want her home safely, but they didn't want to even think about giving up. They had to find her. 
They knew Stacy better than anyone else, and they were sure she couldn't simply lose such an important thing as her phone. So what did happen to her? Three days later, Stacy was seen walking along the 14 freeway. Even though she looked confused and a bit strange, she was okay. Cops noticed something off about the way she looked. The girl was suffering from dehydration and exposure to cold weather. However, her parents were in seventh heaven, their daughter was alive and immediately headed to the hospital where she was being treated. They were extremely grateful to everyone who helped them looking for their daughter. Specifically, we would like to thank the Los Angeles Police Department and the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department for their swift response, her dad told the media. But was the girl actually physically and mentally okay? Local volunteers and rescue teams had devoted three days to providing Stacy with emotional support to help her get through this difficult time. Everyone wanted to know what had happened to the girl but the parents asked to keep things private and didn't divulge that information. Our daughter's physical condition is currently being evaluated by medical professionals and we await the results, her parents told the media. Our family is not in a position to give interviews at this time. As a result, we respectfully request privacy, her father added. When people got to know about Stacy's disappearance, Americans were on pins and needles. And while everyone was delighted the girl was found healthy and alive, the events that caused her disappearance still remain a secret.